Welcome to Install 107 ACP Cabling. The building block videos are targeted at NetApp and partner engineers as well as do-it-yourself customers. Always consult the most recent documentation before starting any work. In this video we discuss what the function of the alternate control path is and how it's cabled as a single daisy chain connecting all the A and B IOM SAS shelf controller modules together and to both storage controllers in a high availability pair. What is alternate control path? On the older DS14 shelf models, if the shelf controller module went into a hung state, the only way to reset it was to power off the shelf, which generally required system downtime. ACP is a private, isolated Ethernet network between the storage controllers and the SAS shelves that provides a way to non-disruptively reset the I.O. modules which increases system uptime and availability. We see two things in this diagram. The light gray colored lines show how the A modules are stitched together with the B modules. The focus of the diagram is the bold line showing how the circle port of the B module of the last shelf in stack 1 connects to the square port of the A module in the first shelf of stack 2 and then repeats to connect stack 2 with stack 3. As more shelf stacks are added, we should continue to stretch this daisy chain of connections. In this NetApp cabinet, we have a FAS 3200HA pair with two one-shelf stacks that we will use to demonstrate ACP cabling. We are using different colored CAT6 Ethernet cables to cable the different segments of the ACP loop. Dark blue cables will connect IOMA to IOMB on both shelves. In a multi-shelf stack, we would cable the IOMA shelf modules of each shelf together and then connect all the IOMB shelf modules together. On a single shelf stack, plug the circle port of the A IOM to the square port on the B IOM. Next, we use a light blue cable to connect the two shelf stacks. We go from the circle port of the B IOM of shelf stack 1 to the square port of the A IOM in stack 2 at the bottom of the cabinet. Our final step is connecting the storage controllers to the shelf stacks using purple cables. Connect the E0P or locked wrench port of the top controller to the square port of the A IOM of stack 1. Then we connect the circle port of the BIOM in stack 2 to the EOP port of the bottom storage controller. Then we finish by doing cable management. This diagram shows how storage controller 1 uses the E0P interface, also called the wrench port, to the square port of the A module of shelf 1 in shelf stack 1. Systems without an E0P port have to assign a dedicated Ethernet port. The shelves and stacks are connected together like we saw in the previous diagram and video. And then the circle port of the B module in the last shelf of the last shelf stack runs to the E0P or dedicated Ethernet port on controller 2. Standalone systems only run a single connection to the first shelf in the first stack. Consider substituting the black Ethernet cable shipped with the SAS shelves with custom length colored CAT6 cables to visually distinguish ACP cabling from data and management network cabling. Verify ACP cabling. After the system is configured, you can use the ACP admin list all command in 7 mode or cluster data on tap. Unlike with shelves, if you find a cabling error, you can fix it while the system is running. We also encourage you to verify ACP with a freely available Config Advisor tool you can download from the support website. Since ACP is a daisy chain, it only takes a single disconnect or failure to take it offline, so check it on a regular basis as part of your preventive maintenance routine.
While we're in maintenance mode to verify shelf cabling, which is covered in detail in the Install 109 video, run the ACP Admin List All command to verify ACP cabling. We see all four shelf modules have been assigned an IP address. To verify ACP cabling in 7 mode data on tap, first check the configuration of the E0P port with the ifconfig command. The ACP admin list all command is also used to check all the ACP ports. For cluster data on tap, you have to run the ACP admin commands in the node shell for each node. Unlike shelf cabling, if you find any issues, you can fix the ACP cabling while data on tap is running. With the shelves and shelf stacks cabled to each other, the next step is cabling the storage controllers to the shelf stacks, which is covered in the next video, Install 108.